Is the Roman dialect hard to understand when compared to standard Italian? Let's find out with today's song. Welcome to LIS, Learn Italian Songs, Learn Italian with Songs. I am Pietro and today we're going to translate Tanto Peccanta. This is a popular song of the 1930s. It was written in the Roman dialect, actually in the dialect of Rome, which is called Romanesco, and it was written by Ettore Petrolini with words by Alberto Simeoni. Now, the song gained new popularity in the early 1970s after a famous performance at the Festival di Sanremo by Roman actor Nino Manfredi. I think it's safe to call the dialect of Rome a dialect without anyone pointing the finger and saying no, it's a language. You will see during the song that it's quite similar to standard Italian. Just cut off the last letter of a word here, add a double consonant there, throw in the required apostrophes and you're good to go. There are of course some words which are peculiar to that specific dialect and we will find a couple of them in the song. The composer of this song is Ettore Petrolini. He was a singer, songwriter, playwright and composer of the first half of the 20th century. Um, he is considered one of the most important representative of that kind of theater which is sort of a son of a lesser god and it's the avant spettacolo or teatro di varietà. This kind of theater was a sort of container of different genres such as stand-up comedy, musical, uh, dancing, magical tricks and much more. The actor who gave new fame to the song uh, starting from the early 70s is Nino Manfredi and if you've seen my video on uh, Il Gatto e la Volpe, I'll put a link somewhere around here or in the description below, you have heard me talking about one of my favorite versions of Pinocchio, uh, which is the TV series that came out in Italy in the early 70s. Well, in those, in that TV series by director Luigi Comincini, the part of Geppetto or Geppetto was played by Nino Manfredi himself, the actor slash singer who gave new fame to the song Tanto Pe Canta. Now, Nino Manfredi might not be as famous as, say, Sofia Loren or Marcello Mastroianni, but he was a great actor, uh, screenwriter and singer, and he is considered one of the greatest interpreters of a series of movies which came out in the late 50s and then 1960s and also 70s and they're called the Commedia all'Italiana. Manfredi, among other things, is famous for a series of TV commercials that he did for a famous Italian brand of coffee in which the slogan was Più lo mandi giù, più ti tira su, which roughly translates in the more you throw it down or the more you send it down, the more it pulls you up. Well, Manfredi is also uh, famous for changing a word of this song, a word that you can find in the chorus, in, which is rintontoniva. He changed it in a sort of a mild curse word of the Romanesco dialect. And uh, if you want to find out what this secret almost curse word is, you can look it up on the internet and tell me in the description below if you found it. Fa la vita meno amara Mi so comprato sta chitarra E quando il sole scende e muore Mi sento il cuore cantatore La voce poca ma intonata Non serve a fare la serenata Ma perlomeno a fa maniera 
Le fa manzogna a prima sera E tanto per cantare Perché mi sento un friccico nel cuore Tanto per sognare Perché nel petto mi ce naschi un fiore Fiore di lilla Che mi riporti indietro al primo amore Che sospirava le canzoni mie E mi rinto Tony va de bugie Canzoni belle appassionate Che Roma mia ma ricordate Cantate solo per dispetto Ma con la smania dentro al petto non ve le canto a voce piena, ma tutta l'anima è serena e vanno al cielo se scolora e me nessuna se innamora. Perché nel petto me ce naschi un fiore Fiore di lilla Che mi riporti indietro al primo amore Che sospirava le canzoni mie E mi rintonto ne va di bugie to the written translation and today I'm using this new method which is that of the blackboard. I'm using orange for the original lyrics in Romanesco dialect and light blue for the English uh, translation. I will use the yellow to change the word of the Romanesco dialect and transform them into standard Italian so it's clear to see how similar the two are. The title is Tanto per canta, Tanto per canta, which in standard Italian would be Tanto per cantare, and this Tanto, it does not mean much or a lot of, but it's sort of a short version of Soltanto, which means only or just. So in this case, just to sing. Now on to the first verse, which goes Pe fa la vita meno mara, and in standard Italian, this would be per far la vita meno mara, and this is standard Italian, to make the life, to make life or to make my life less bitter. Me so comprato sta chitarra. Now, mi son, which is short for sono, but it can be used son, comprato sta, you could say it, which is short for questa. And chitarra is the same in Italian, only, only you have to add an R here. So, mi so comprato sta chitarra in standard Italian would be mi son comprato or mi sono comprato sta or questa chitarra, which means I bought myself this guitar. E quando il sole scende e more, this in standard Italian would be e quando Er, this is mm, peculiar of the Romanesco dialect, this would be il. E quando il sole scende e muore, e quando il sole scende e muore, this would be set standard Italian, and it means and when the sun descends, goes down and dies. Me sento un core cantatore. I might have sung me sento er core cantatore, they're similar. Uh, me sento in standard Italian would be simply mi sento. Core in standard, standard Italian would be cuore. Mi sento un cuore cantatore. I feel like or I feel a heart 
singer or a singing heart. Second verse goes like this. La voce è poca ma intonata. And this first line is standard Italian. So the voice is poca means a small quantity, quantity of something. But in this case, I translate it as the voice is small. It's a small voice. But intonata, this is all one word, intonata, and it means in tune. Non serve a fa la serenata. And the only thing that we have to change here to make it standard Italian is far here or fare. You will notice that a lot of verbs ending in are, ere, or ire, they can drop the last vowel in order to make them one syllable shorter so they can fit into the metric. Non serve a far la serenata in standard Italian. It means it's not for doing the serenade. It, this voice is a small voice. It's, it's not a serenading voice. Ma solamente a fan maniera. Drop an F here. A fa. And this fa becomes an far. Instead of the apostrophe, we have in. I. Ma solamente a far in maniera. And I might have sing uh, ma serve solo in the song. But the original word here is solamente. Ma solamente a far in maniera, but just to make in manner, but just to allow me to, to do what? De fammi un sogno a prima sera. Fammi farmi. Mm. We just and put this here, and this is standard Italian. Di farmi un sogno a prima sera. So the voice, which is small but in tune, uh, this is not a voice for serenading, but it's just used in order to, okay, to allow the singer to farmi un sogno a prima sera. So make myself a dream at first evening. Okay, so when, when the night comes, when, when it's early night or early evening. So on to the chorus now, and it says tanto per cantare, just like the title, which in standard Italian would be tanto per cantare and it is just to sing perché me sento un friccico nel cuore mi sento mm, this apostrophe n is short for un a friccico <laughs> beautiful word peculiar of the romanesco dialect nel cuore and cuore is cuore in italian just add a u between the C and the O. Friccico is the only word that I'm not translated in standard Italian. Would be like, a, in English it would be like a quiver or some, some kind of a throbbing or an excitement, something like that. Uh, perché mi sento un friccico nel cuore uh, would be because I feel, because I feel a quiver, un friccico, in my, or in the, would be in Italian, heart. Tanto per sogna, which would be tanto per sognare it's just to dream perché nel petto me ce naschi un fiore perché nel petto can you see a pattern here mi ci the letters e become i and this is kind of strange subjunctive uh, congiuntivo mi ci nasca un fiore so that, in this case it's not because, but it's, it is so that in the, in my, chest, petto is chest, a flower might bloom. This is to be born so that a flower may bloom in my chest. Okay. We were talking about a flower. What kind of flower is this? Fiore de lilla, which is in standard Italian would just be lilac flower and and now it's the flower what does it do the lilac flower che ma riporti indietro mi riporti indietro uh, you like you lilac flower who bring me back to my first love primo amore this is standard italian means first love che sospirava le canzoni mie this is standard italian the first love what did the first uh, his first love do um, who sigh, so who used to sigh my songs, who used to sing my songs with sighs, 
and a Marin Tonto Niva. And here I will have to uh, delete everything more or less. Marin Tonto Niva. Mi Rin Tontiva. Tonto is a like a, a dumb person, uh, just like in, in Spanish. Un tonto, tonterias. Uh, de Buccia. This in standard Italian would be a G. So Mirin Tonto uh, Mirin Tontiva. Um, made myself dumb with lives, lies. So um, what did uh, his first love do? She used to sing um, his songs in a weeping or sighing voice and she used to make him dumb with her lies. Next verse after the chorus uh, it starts with canzoni belle appassionate and this is standard Italian uh, canzoni songs beautiful and passionate beautiful and passionate songs che Roma mia ma ricordate mi and we should add an ah sorry h a we Italians don't pronounce the letter h we don't say mi ha ricordate but we say mi ha ricordate uh, those songs so that my Rome reminded me about. Cantate solo pe dispetto, and this pe is per, and the rest is tender Italian. Song just as a peak. Ma con asmania dentro al petto. This becomes ma con, and na is short for una. But with a, uh, and then I left it blank. Smania is like a longing or an eagerness. So where? Inside the chest. So inside my chest. The last verse. Non ve le canto a voce piena. Non ve le canto a voce piena. And this is standard Italian. Um, I don't sing to you. I don't sing them to you. Ve is to you. In a full voice. So I'm not singing them to you with a full voice. Voce piena. Voice. Voce piena is full. I'm not singing these songs with a full voice. Ma tutta l'anima è serena. And this is standard Italian. But all the soul is serene. E quando. And the only change that we have to make here is quando. E quando il cielo si scolora. And when the sky discolors itself so when the sky loses its color so when it gets dark de me nessuna se innamora so this would be standard italian very similar once again to the romanesco dialect di me nessuna si innamora uh, literally it means of me no one and this denotes that we're talking about female falls in love with okay so uh, no one falls in love with me and this is the end of the song the chorus that comes after this is the exact exact same as the first one hey wait stop so if you're still watching this video this means that either you were doing the dishes and your hands were too wet to press stop or to change video or you actually did like it so if you liked this video uh, press the thumb up, pollice su, and why not subscribe to the channel, iscriversi al canale. And anyway, I'll see you in the next video of LIS, learn Italian songs, learn Italian with songs. Arrivederci!